Hello and thanks for dropping by to find out about biobanks, what they are, how they work and why they are so important in research. There are lots of different types of research biobanks, but they all basically do the same thing. They collect samples and data and make them available to researchers. For example, samples stored in biobanks from thousands of people are used to look for ways to prevent, find or treat health problems such as diabetes, cancer, neurological conditions like Alzheimer's disease and heart disease, to name a few. Donating samples to a biobank is a great way for people to get involved in research and help to increase the understanding about conditions and diseases. People of all ages and from all backgrounds and communities can donate samples, which includes materials such as tissue, blood, urine and saliva. Biobanks ask people to agree to donate samples and data by signing a consent form after they've been given information about the biobank or research project. This allows the biobank to collect samples, store them and make them available to researchers, although it may not be known exactly what research will use the samples at the time of donation. Data is important too. The consent usually allows biobanks to collect information about the donor, but the biobank looks after this information very carefully. Biobanks have to abide by regulations which cover legal and ethical issues to ensure that they are operating properly and one of the most important things for a biobank is to keep the donor's information private. When researchers apply to the biobank to use samples and data, the biobank does not usually contact donors. Just like a blood donor cannot decide who gets their blood, a biobank donor cannot typically choose how their samples and information will be used. But some biobanks may give the option to opt out of samples being used in certain types of research. There is usually information on a biobank's websites or in newsletters to let people know about the research they support. But, in most cases, donors will not be given individual results from research studies. Donated samples are generally used for broad research that may lead to future discoveries, not for discovering information about each individual. It is future generations that will benefit from the generous donation of samples and data to biobanks. That was a quick overview of what a biobank is and how they operate. The next video tells you more about our biobank, the Wales Cancer Biobank. As the name suggests, we support cancer research by collecting cancer tumour samples from patients so that researchers can use the samples to find out more about the ways in which cancer starts, develops, reacts to treatment and to see if they can develop new drugs and treatments for patients. Come and find out how we work and hear about some of the cancer research we've supported since 2005.